All right, Shalom Amaki, I'm out there. Uh, first and foremost, before I start, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and Kakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles that great male soon taught me this word. Watch the other one, all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, you know, back at it. <coughs> Another lesson that GMS started to be saved. Coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, and Kakwadash. All right, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, so as you brothers can see, um, this lesson shall be entitled, In the Time of the Famine, How Will You Eat? You know, this is just a lesson going into how the elect, you know, will eat and be taken care of in the time of famine, man. Okay? So, you know, this is just like an encouraging lesson for us brothers, man, that's doing the right thing. Hey, man, you know, when, when rough times hit, you know, we're going to be all right, man. Okay? While everybody else, they're going to be... <laughs> they're gonna be fucked off, man. You know, so you can understand, man. You know, they ain't gonna have no covering, no protection. All right. So with that being said, uh, you know, we're gonna start with the lesson. So I'm gonna start in uh, Jeremiah the eleventh chapter. Okay. All right. This is Jeremiah eleven and one. It says, "The word that came that came to Jeremiah from the Lord." It says, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Right, and that's the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, okay? Which consists of you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, okay? Uh, West Indians and Haitians, man, okay? You consist of the uh, 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. The Lord is speaking to you, okay? So that's what we out there speaking to when we go out there and speak. Okay, when we do our videos, okay, we this message is to you, man. All right, that's why the Lord says, "Cry aloud, spare not, show my people their transgressions, the house of Israel, the house of Israel their sins." Okay, so the Lord is only concerned with you, and He's focused on you. Okay, and that's why He's gonna punish you. Okay, because when you have a child, okay, you only worry about that child. You're not worried about the neighbor's son. I don't, I don't give a damn about the neighbor's son. Okay, but I give a damn about my son. Okay, same thing with the Lord and, and to his people. Okay, so reading on it says, And say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord, power of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. Right, so this is why the Lord is going to bring destruction on this place. Okay, because our people they disobey the words of the Lord. Okay. So what the Lord gonna do? He gonna bring famine, okay? He gonna be he gonna bring uh, distress, misery, okay? And one thing about having a lack of food, man, having a lack of food, it gets <laughs> first you get angry, okay? And then you then you fucking <laughs> get all sad and shit, man. And then then it causes you to do shit that you wouldn't normally do, okay? Like fucking stealing. Okay. In the in the time of famine, man, it's, our people they gonna be doing, uh, they gonna be in dire straits, man. All right, to eat, all right, and to feed their families, man. Okay. And it's all because they disobeyed the word of the Lord. So I'm gonna jump down to verse, to verse 22. It says, "Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts: Behold, I will punish them." The young men shall die by the sword. Right. And what's the sword? All right. The gun. All right. Our people going to get slayed by the gun, man. Okay. Esau and his weaponry, man. All right. The martial law troops, the foreign troops that's going to invade this land. All right. It ain't going to be nothing nice uh, for, for, for uh, our people here, man. The wicked of them. All right. It says, Behold, I will punish them. The young man shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. You hear that? It says, The sons and their daughters shall die by famine. Okay? So let that let you know, this is what the Lord is going to bring here to America. Okay? And it's not going to be like a, a famine where it's going to be a lack of food. It Really... What it is, is Esau, he, he's going to control the imports and the exports of food here. 
Okay, he's going to control the food from coming in and coming out. Okay, so that's how it's going to be a famine. All right. The truckers are going to stop bringing in the food to your grocery stores because that's how people eat here. All right. When people eat, they go straight to the grocery store, you know. Straight straight to the grocery store, they, they shop. You know, our people, they get all the fucking, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the fucking burritos and <laughs> top ramen noodles and shit like that, man. You know? And, you know, growing up, you, you see, you see fucking how uh, our people act, you know, at the end of the month, man. You know? When them food stamps don't hit, you know, it all ran out and shit. And you waiting on the first, you know, I, rem I specifically remember, man, my, my cousin, uh, my cousin, you know, uh, he was crying. And I, I remember I asked him, hey, why are you crying? He was like, I'm hungry. And that was the first time I ever seen, like, you know, because we cried when you, you know, we get our ass whooped. I thought he got a whooping, you know, <laughs> he, he said he was crying because he was hungry, you know. And we was young at the time, you know. So it's it's go that's gonna be America on a large scale, man. All right. They gonna perish, man, because they hungry. Okay. All right, so lock it. So going back, it says, "Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts: Behold, I will punish them, and the young men shall die by the sword; their sons and daughters shall die by famine." So, hey, man. The Lord is bringing something crucial to this to this place, man. All right. Matter of fact, that's gonna lead up to my next scripture. Okay. This is in Daniel's the twelfth chapter. All right. This is Daniel's twelve and one. It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. Right. So this time that's coming, man. All right. The scriptures refer to it as Jacob's trouble in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. It's going to be a time like never before. OK. All all the fucking the, the, uh, the bad times and, uh, you know, the destruction. All right. Of, uh, you know, uh, Mount Vesuvius. Um. 70 AD, all right, the flood, you know, in the time of Noah, it's going to be worse than all that, man, okay, the Lord said this is going to be a time like never before, I'm going to read it again, it says, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, you see, and you can see that the Lord is saving this place for last, man, all right, but I'm going to read the top over again. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, that great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And that's talk, talking about Michael, the arch angel, uh, the arch angel, it's like you. All right? He's going to be helping the elect. Okay? Going back to the title of the video, how will you eat when, it, when it's the time of famine? Man, the Lord is going to send angels to help us, man. All right? Us brothers that's doing the right thing, man, that has that covering. Okay. We we ain't gonna have nothing to worry about. It says the Michael the Great Pitt's gonna be standing up to help us, man. Alright? As well as the other angels, man. Alright? So let's go to um Let's go to Job the fifth chapter. Okay. Job five. Okay. This is Job chapter 5 verse 20 It says well, I'll start at 19 It says he shall deliver thee in six troubles Yea in seven there shall no evil evil touch thee Right and that's talking about the missiles man Alright this, this, uh, The seventh trump You know In seven there shall no evil touch thee Okay the six troubles is dealing with All, all the calamity and destruction That's going to come here man all right, the seven, that's, that's the cherry on top, the missiles, man. Okay, it says, shall no evil touch thee. Right, because there's there's no evil that's going to touch the elect, man. You know, 
the Lord promised the elect with salvation. It says, in famine, he shall deliver thee from death. You see that? In famine, he shall deliver thee from death, man. You know, and that's one of the worst ways to go, man. One of the worst ways to die is through famine, man. Why? Because you pine away. You know? Your body start eating itself from the inside. You know, you start hallucinating. Basically, you start losing your mind. You know? And that's it's just a crucial death, man. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture in limitations. Because it made me... Uh, reminded me that scripture in limitations. All right? Lucky like bear with me, brothers. Is it, is it after Jeremiah? Yeah. Yep. So this is Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. It says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away stricken through for the want of fruits of the field you see though that they that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger so if you if you end up just getting shot shot up you know what i'm saying bleeding out all right the scriptures say that's better than you dying of famine and that's a horrible fucking death man you just getting shot and shit bleeding out you know that's a painful death too but that's that's a mercy kill compared to dying of famine. Okay? So going back to um matter of fact, let me read that last part. It says, stricken through, it says for these pine away. So you pine away from the inside, man. Alright. It says, stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field. Right, man. Right, so going back to Job 5 and 21 or 20, it says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. You see, the Lord gonna have protection all around for his for his men, okay, and their families. Okay. Pestilence, famine, martial law, all right, the sword. Okay, it's gonna be a lot to deal with out here, man. And if you how about Shimmy Shah's not with you, how can you how can you survive all this? You know, and I didn't even mention the missiles. Okay. There's there's no way if you how about Shimmy Shah's not with you, you're gonna survive this thing, man. You know, that's why we just gotta keep staying prayed up and hope hope that we can receive that mercy, man. Alright. So it says, uh, Verse 21, it says, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Verse 22, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Man, think about that for a second, brothers. At destruction and famine, you gonna laugh. <laughs> While everybody is fucking mourning and, and fucking in distress and great misery, as the scriptures say, you gonna be laughing. That's that's power, man. The Lord gonna really put a cold spirit on us, man. You know, man. And we we gonna be good, and we gonna be eating. You know. <laughs> hey, and I'm gonna get that scripture too. All right. <laughs> we ain't gonna be laughing on no empty stomach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Lord gonna feed us. All right. Cut this line off. <sighs> So it says, Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth, for thou shalt be in the for for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. All right, so even the Lord is gonna put the spirit upon the animals, alright, to be cool with us, man. You know, they're gonna be biting and tearing apart everybody else, tearing their flesh apart. You know, but when they see us, they gonna they gonna Look at us and just walk away. You know what I'm saying? Go to the next. <laughs> you know? That goes back to that, that mark uh, in Ezekiel. Ezekiel 9 and 4, man. All right? Exempt from judgment. Okay? 
So it says, uh, oh yeah, that was it on that. So let's go to uh, Psalms 33 now. Psalms the 33rd chapter. So this is Psalms chapter 33, verse 18. It says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. And these are scriptures that we're going to have to remember in that time, man. Okay? That's why it says uh, that uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Okay? We're going to have to remember what the Lord said, man. All right? That's why the scriptures are here for us to meditate upon and to think about. Okay? Because it's going it's gonna to be rough, man. It's going to be rough. You, you know, at in, in those times, we ain't going to have the luxury we have now where we can just sit down and open the book and, you know, read a couple chapters, man. You know what I'm saying? Get our study on. You know, in that time, it just it's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be within you. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's like, hey, get get as much as you can now, because the times that's coming, it's gonna be it's gonna be crucial, man. You know, it says to deliver their to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. You know, that's beautiful. Um, our soul waited for the Lord; He is our help and our shield. For our heart will for for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Right, man? Because that's what we hope for. All right, we hope for the Lord's mercy, man, to receive it. All right. So let's get uh, Second Edges chapter 2. It's one of my favorite scriptures. You know, because this scripture lets you know that the Lord not only going to take care of you, but he's going to take care of your family, man. You know, brothers who might have seeds out there, you know, you, you ain't got nothing to worry about. The Lord going to take care of them, man. So, 2 Andrews chapter 2, verse 26, it says, As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day... Of day of trouble and heaviness cometh others shall weep and be sorrowful but thou shalt be merry and have abundance right going back to that to that scripture I read previously which says in famine thou shalt laugh alright the scriptures say others gonna be uh, weep and be sorrowful that's the two thirds of our people alright two thirds of them alright and, the, and everybody else man the other nations man they gonna be weeping and be sorrowful but we gonna be merry and have abundance you know, it says the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. My hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell. Right. See death. You see. So the Lord not only going to cover you, but he going to cover your children as well, man. So, hey, man, Lord willing, we are part of that number, man. We trying to receive that. Verse 30, it says, Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, saith the Lord. That's right, man. All right? That's right. So, uh, with that, I got one more precept. This is in uh, Isaiah 65. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Isaiah chapter 65. Verse 13, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. You see? You see? Man, that's, man, these, these scriptures that's just, man, they hit home, man. You know? Because you see, we, man, you see how, it's, how bad it's going to be in these times, man. You know? Nowadays, you can fucking get, you know, two tacos, a burger, fries, a drink for five bucks. You know what I'm saying? And and this is this has made people in America comfortable, man. So when it's taken away from them, they they gonna be fucking going crazy, man. You know? So it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servant shall eat. So the Lord's servant is gonna eat in a time of famine. Alright? But it says, Ye shall be hungry. That's the two thirds. Behold, my servants shall drink. Oh, yeah, we're going to drink too. All right? 
but ye shall be thirsty. <laughs> That's the two thirds, man. All right. They gonna be thirsty as hell, man. All right. And they gonna know that it's the Lord doing it to them. Okay. It says, my servants shall rejoice. Why are we going to rejoice? Because we know that we're in the time of the end, man. All right? In those times, we're going to know that Yahweh Shai is on his way. You know, we ain't got much longer. Okay? We're going to know, look, look. These are everything that the Lord spoke about. This scripture popping up. Hey, that's that scripture. You know? So we looking up, man. All right? Because our redemption drive nigh, man. Okay? So it says, uh, Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And they're going to be ashamed, man. Because here it is. They had plenty of time to get themselves right. Okay? Repent. Return back to the Lord. Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Shai. Alright? But they, but they took it for naught, man. They was putting off the Lord day to day. Alright? That's why they're going to be ashamed. Alright? It says, Behold, uh, Behold, my servant shall sing of joy for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. You see? So the so the Lord gonna take care of his servants, man. It's going and he gonna torment, alright, and punish and ultimately kill you. You two two thirds of his people, man. Okay, cause that's the only way that's gonna get them right. You know, they on this side they ain't got no they they can't get it, man. Okay? They're gonna have to die and come back. Like the scriptures say, the same must know it after death by pain. Alright? So we're gonna be good, brothers, man. Okay? We just gotta believe. Truly believe that the Lord is gonna be with us, man. Hey, cause the scriptures say so. Alright? And this is our hope. This is our faith. Alright? So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto you brothers out there. You know, we'll close it out by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. Once we'll say double honors to the apostles, our great millstone who taught me this word. Wash Shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word of truth and sincerity. Stay up, brothers. Shalom.